Hello, my name is Derek Kinder. I'm a hydraulic engineer with the Risk Management Center. In this video, we are going to discuss an introduction to the Risk Management Center Reservoir Frequency Analysis RMC RFA software. In this lecture, we will introduce you to the software and provide an overview of model setup, inputs, simulations, outputs, and diagnostics. The U.S. Army Corps Risk Management Center, or RMC, developed the Reservoir Frequency Analysis Software, RMC RFA, to facilitate flood hazard assessments within the USACE Dam Safety Program. RMC RFA is a stochastic modeling software that can be used to estimate reservoir frequency relationships. Let's discuss the basic framework of the software. RMC RFA is an event-based stochastic model, which means that individual flood events are randomly generated and then routed through the reservoir to obtain a peak stage. The foundation of the RMC RFA model is a level pool reservoir routing model where the inflow minus the outflow is equal to the change in storage. RMC RFA uses Monte Carlo simulation to account for the uncertainty in the inflow volume frequency curve the inflow hydrograph shape, the time of year when the flood occurs, and the antecedent reservoir stage at the beginning of a flood event. The main output of an RMC RFA simulation is a stage frequency curve with uncertainty. Some settings can be customized by selecting the RMC RFA settings options from the file menu. The application settings include the option to compress project file on close. Backup and recovery options are also available. Defaults can also be selected, including the project location folder, unit systems, and decimal digits for flow, elevation, and storage. Finally, message settings can also be adjusted. To create a new project, select File on the menu strip and select New Project. The Create New Project box appears where you can enter a name and description of the new project, define the unit systems, and select a folder for the project location. Project components can be added from either the menu strip at the top or the Project Explorer window on the left. Items are added by selecting them from the menu strip and selecting New then choosing what you are adding, or by right-clicking them in the Project Explorer and selecting New. Now that we've set up a new project, let's discuss the four types of input data required for an RMC RFA project. Let's start by discussing the four required input data types. The first item is the discharge gauge, where the user enters the period of record daily average inflow at the dam. This information is used later in the analysis to evaluate flood seasonality. Next is the inflow hydrograph item, where the user enters multiple inflow hydrograph shapes to account for the uncertainty. The third item is a stage gauge, where the user enters the period of record of daily average reservoir stages. This information is used to model the uncertainty in the antecedent reservoir stage at the beginning of a flood event. The fourth and final input item is the volume frequency curve, where the user enters the parameters for the frequency curve and the effective record length. This information is used to model the uncertainty in the volume frequency curve, which includes both the random occurrence of flood events and the uncertainty in our estimate of the frequency curve. Here is an overview of the three types of analyses that are required before running a simulation. The first is flood seasonality, which uses the daily flows from the discharge gauge to estimate the time of year when floods have occurred on a monthly basis. The second analysis is reservoir starting stage duration, which uses the daily stages from the stage gauge to estimate the percent of time reservoir stages are exceeded on a monthly basis. The result of the first two analyses are used in an RMC RFA simulation to randomly select a month for a flood event and then randomly generate a starting reservoir stage based on the duration curves for that month. 
The third analysis is the empirical frequency curve. Empirical frequency curves can be developed for both stage and discharge based on the stage and discharge gauges. The empirical frequency curve provides a comparison between the results of a simulation and observed events. A reservoir routing model is used to define the relationship between stage, storage, and outflow so that floods can be routed through the reservoir to obtain a peak stage. Reservoir features can be entered for reference, including the top of dam, spillway, and inflow design flood elevations. Before running a simulation, the user must enter several required input parameters, simulation settings, and output options. Following a simulation run, the user can explore a variety of output plots and tables. This includes a stage frequency curve with uncertainty and several diagnostic and sensitivity plots. Chart editing options can be accessed by right-clicking while hovering over a plot and then left-clicking to select a specific item. Tables can be sorted by right-clicking while hovering over a column heading and then selecting ascending or descending. This completes the overview of the RMC RFA software. Each item discussed during this presentation will be covered in greater detail in the upcoming presentations.